Okay. I was raised in Cavalier Park via military brat from Florida, but my home is Austin. I was raised in Austin. I'm Texas raised. I'm very proud to be from Austin. I am affiliated with every hood, every church, grew up in Greater Mount Zion Baptist Church, and when I was in my 20s, I was living in Dallas, and I had some, um, I had an illness, I, I, I have epilepsy, and I had to come back home to Austin, and I prayed on my couch and said, what am I going to do back in Austin? There's nothing there, and a voice said, be a DJ. Now, as, as weird as it sounded, I went to my grandmother with this idea, and she said, if that's what you want to be, then that's what you'll be. So she went out and bought me turntables, I went and bought albums, speakers, and everything, and I went to Central Texas College for two years and got my radio and TV degree. And I've been with KZI since 1986, but I'm just not with KZI. If you notice, guys, I'm always at these clubs. I'm watching you guys. I see that these kids, you know, a lot of people don't understand rap or hip-hop, but it's this generation's voice. So if you have something to say, these kids need an avenue. I feel like if our kids are in the studio, if you put an instrument in their hands, if you buy them a piano, guitar, then it's less time for them to be in the streets. Okay, Saturday in the park, Givens Park, 3811 East 12th Street. It will be a book drive along with live music. Please bring your used books so we can give away to other people who don't have books. I'm going to have on my bill, God's Gift. Dora, she's a KZI DJ, but she's also a poet. Birdsong, another KZI DJ, she's a reggae DJ. She's also a poet, a really good poet here. We have also Super, Young School, Esan, Robin White Project, and Edward Bird is going to be our guest speaker. And if you guys are artists, come out and bring your CDs and network with your other artists. You got people who just don't do music, but they produce, they shoot videos. I want this to be a networking kind of event not just live music and books but also to give other artists to introduce themselves to other artists and maybe y'all can work on collaborations for music in the future so bring your cds bring your merch and if you're a vendor set up your table i'm not charging you i just want you to come out and have a good time I see your event. You say it's, it's going to kind of be a book drive. Why have these? Why have these musicians? What exactly? What exactly does a music component play into uh, your your you know your ultimate your bottom line goal for this event? Well, because I'm a DJ, and music is so universal, you just can't have people come out to a park and say, "Oh, we got books. We need music. We have so much talent in Austin." that these young people need to be heard. We have rappers, R&B, blues, and this is live talent. And I always say, if you got the talent, I got the time. So I'm going to co uh, put together the music along with giving out books to our young people and our old people to get us reading again. It seems like reading is obsolete, and I am an avid person that lives in the library and everyone's always on their cell phones. These kids are living on their iPods, and it's time to get them to open up a book and start reading. Reading makes you speak better. It makes you, um, puts you in another place. And it's the music, as far as the music, why not the music? Why not have music as these people are handing you out books? So two and two, we're just gonna put it together because I can't go anywhere without music. So you said that this was uh, this was mainly like about a book draw. What particular type of books are you looking to uh, get from the public? Are we looking for just children's books? Are you looking for you know black history books, self help books? What? Okay, well here's the deal. Children books most definitely. Black. If you have history books about blacks, please bring them if you're not using them in used books. But don't forget this is a community, so we're just not blacks. So it's white Mexicans you know, Hispanic, Indians, this is a community event. I do not want y'all to focus on the black thing as far as more as a community. You, we live next door to white people. Some of us are, <laughs> have white in our blood. We have mixed children. We, this is, so these books need to be 
any books. If you're not reading these books and they're in a closet or on your shelf and you need somewhere to bring them, bring them to the park and people are going to take them. You'd be surprised how many people read or would like to read but they just don't have the book. So if you have black history, Mexican history, Native Indian history, I don't care what kind of history it is. It's all American history. So bring your books out so we can give out to the elderly, uh, the young people, to the children. So yes, children books most definitely because that is my, that's where we start. We start with the children. So children's books most definitely because I have found in my lifetime, I am meeting so many people that can't read. Where did we go wrong? Did the system fail them? Did they just have problems in school? Why didn't someone work with them? I'm meeting 60 year old people who cannot read. That's not acceptable for me. So where do we start? We start with the children. And so yes, most definitely children books, but any books you have on your shelf, if they're religious books, history books, uh, just stories, bring them. I myself are bringing books like Tom Sawyer, the Wind of the Willows, and you know, these are iconic books, and uh, that's because I have access to those books. So, if you have more books about black people, please bring them because there will be a lot of children of color at this event. And, uh, like I said, not just of color, but colors. Why can't these people just go to the library and get a, and get a book? You know what I'm saying? What, what, what's going to differentiate? You know what I'm saying? Your book drive to kind of bring these people out. Well, wouldn't you love to enjoy some live music while you are getting a book? A library, you're going to listen to live music? The only way you're going to hear music is if you put your headphones on and tab over to YouTube. So I want to call, uh, put the two together because it's important that we read. And it's also important that music just makes your soul feel good. So this is really more about bringing together the community, right? Exactly. It okay. is. It okay. Is. Yeah. All right. So I, I mean, besides the music, did you? Did I, I'm, uh, forgive me if I if I missed it, but are you, did you say you were going to have some type of speakers? Is it going to yes. be? Yes. I am going to have Eric Bird. He is a member of the Hundred Million Man March, and what he's going to do is give a speech to our young people on how to behave and how to respond to when cops come up to you. Right now, a lot of people are angry. We are so angry that black people are just getting shot. We've been telling these people for decades, but now we have cameras to prove it, yet we're still being ignored. So there is, he's going to come and he's going to talk. He's also a young person, so he's going to be able to get more to, the, to these young people than I can to say, what do you do when the police pull you over? How should you act? What should you do? And that's what he's going to tell you. I don't know what he's going to say, but we need this education, especially now in 2016, as if we went to 300 years back in time. And this has to stop. We, you know, and to me, white silence is white consent.